Hi, Drew Taylor here with High Resolution Engineering. I'm at the Christie booth at Infocom 2025 and just want to give you guys an update on all the major progress that's been made on the Spider S. The Spider S is the new video processing and compositing platform from Christie. It's the new Spider, guys. One rack unit boxes with SDI, DisplayPort, or HDMI. Uh, the HDMI and DisplayPort are four in, four out of 4K. The SDI, we're looking at the eight channel 12G. This can be configured by you in the field on each show differently to be either eight in, eight out, or four in, four out. Uh, one of the things you'll notice on the Spider model is we now have four SFPs. So it's four 100 uh, gig links uh, for the linking boxes, okay? So what that does is double the bandwidth that we've previously seen in this product. Um, so we're gonna be connecting four 100 gig link cables box to box, not through a network switch, they're box to box. So doubling of the bandwidth, what that gives us? There's two things that count towards your bandwidth going box to box. One of them is canvas, like how many pixels can this system do? Well, this is all adjustable, so you can adjust how this bandwidth gets used based on the needs of your show or your install or your project. But to, again, the two things that eat up this bandwidth or go against the bandwidth are canvas, like how many pixels, and in my default example, that's 33 million pixels per renewal group. So when I have up to four renewal groups, I can build a system with say 132 million pixels. And in that configuration, I still have enough bandwidth for six 4K MEs worth of bandwidth. And these MEs are how we get inputs from box to box. We're not sending direct inputs box to box, we have these this functionality called a global ME, like a mix effect from a production switcher. So think of a mixer, right? In previous Spider products, it took two layers to do a mixer. Now we have dedicated mixer resources that are not consuming layers um, to dissolve between two inputs. So that's how inputs travel to boxes. The input goes into the mixer, you bring the mixer down the bus or, or down the link, plop it in a single layer. So now I can take a mixer, put in a single layer on the canvas, um, and that's how we're getting inputs across the box. So again, 33 million, million pixels per renewal group, four renewal groups will get me 132 million pixels, and that reserves still enough bandwidth for up to six 4K MEs, but I could split those into HD. So if my pips are like HD, 3G or whatever, um, I can sit, do say four 4Ks, eight HD MEs. I could do all HD MEs, so I'd have like 24 MEs for PIPs. Now when I say MEs, that's just like our PIP sources, PIP windows, because in addition to that, we now have background inputs in the Spider S. So my background inputs can be unscaled or scaled. Um, on, on our wall behind us, we have eight 4K outputs driving the wall and our main media server backgrounds are eight 4K inputs as a background input. That, that's the background inputs are not consuming layers and they're not consuming MEs, okay? I could also, on this background, take a single input, like a custom resolution, for example, and crop it if I need to and scale it up to fill the screen. So I can dissolve on a background input to a scaled up single input to like a multi-channel media server background to a still, and that's, all as background inputs, not using layers or ME resources. So I've talked about the ME resources, let's check out what's new in the software. Um, again, I've got eight 4K outputs driving this wall. We've actually have it set up as two renewal groups, top half, right half, just to show that functionality. So if you guys have any familiarity with Spider X20, X80, we've got Spider Studio here, so the same software that you're familiar with, and some of the new functionality is if you look at my layers on screen, those have MEs assigned to them. So again, I'm not necessarily taking inputs and dropping them into a layer. The input goes into an ME, the ME's pass box to box, and then the ME is in the layer. So I can go to this ME1, for example, drop a new source into preview, and you see that change, and now I can select ME1 and do a crossfade that you'll see on screen in the upper left there, or I can do like cut back and forth on ME1. So when I recall presets or command keys, 
my presets, um, recall these MEs, put them in layers, and you can have that preset recall change the source in the ME if you want to, or you can define uh, to not change the source in the ME. So let's say I have an ME I'm assigning for like iMag, and I have a little panel that I'm cutting cameras on, or somebody else's, the TD's cutting cameras on, the iMag ME, um, when I do my command key or preset recall, I can say, oh, well, don't change the source in the iMag ME. I just take the ME regardless of what source is in it. So it really opens the spider up to be this live production switcher integrated into the uh, canvassing video processor screen switcher of spider that we've always had. I'm super excited. Background inputs, the new ME functionality. We've been doing demos for a couple days, getting great responses. Um, you know, be in touch, check out our website, highresolution.tv, the Christie website for more information. Look out for demos and trainings coming very soon.